Hey guys, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA for a discount at checkout. They have the cheapest coins on the internet and they also do comfort trade which is 100% reliable. They do Xbox and PlayStation and as you can see guys, by the prices here you can tell that they are definitely the cheapest out there. Also guys, if you want any information on how it works, go on the how it works section and they'll be sure to help you in any way. They also have 24 hour support though they're able to help you at any point during the day. Hey guys, I was going to take a look at a brand new video. I'm going to be showing you how to fix a transfer market glitch in FIFA. So let's say, for example, here you might have seen before you list up your card for a price and he doesn't sell and you think he's at the cheapest. Then you check the market. It's also going to stop people buying like cards at stupid prices. If you look here, let's say Vardy at 230k, you'll see there's two of them up here. So you're like, what? And then you drop it down to like 221 and you just keep going through. And you see there's none up here at any other price, which you're thinking is a bit sus. Like why is there only one Vardy? Because you know for a fact he's not this price, and if he is, there's more than one available. And you just see that they keep glitching here. Like two, three, two now is his price. Like there's nothing here other than that, and you're just like wondering, is that really Vardy's price? And then you look through here and just check here and just have a look through and make sure because sometimes it's glitchy, and this isn't the way to fix it. I'm just trying to just make sure that Vardy isn't any cheaper. But um, you'll see Vardy is okay at the moment, but like, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? You'd expect there to be more up. So you leave that one alone now. Let's go and do, like, let's say Ansu Fatty. This is another one that I've known it happened to before. You just have to find the player first. So it might take a couple of minutes, guys. So just bear with me. I want it to be, like, very really legit the way we do it and everything. So you see Fatty here now. He's 26k on the market. Um, you refresh, look. And, oh, look. More have appeared. Like, it hasn't been 20 seconds since you refreshed, has it? Like, look, 25. There was loads up here. Um, and then you look again, and they're new ones, obviously, but you just keep finding different ones. You have to press in, guys. So refresh again. Oh, it was only three now. So then you press square and circle. Oh, look, more appeared. Randomly, look, 40 seconds longer. That's, if you listed your card for 26 and a half, they've been waiting for ages. So you have to just keep doing that to make sure. That is the way to fix it, guys. So let's do somebody else. Let's do Pogba. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works on Pogba. Oh shit, I've gone into the search. Um, so is he like, I think he's like two, is he 290? Yeah, he's probably gone up in price. Let's just put it in 3, 2, 1. Um, yeah, so look at that's a perfect example. Look at that. So there's ones here. Look, you see that on the first page a second ago. There was like four, and then you refresh out. Look, and there's suddenly a load more. So before listing your card, make sure you always check the market. I mean, look, here we go 240. So you think he's 240. Now you refresh the market. Oh, look, there's another two pages. Like, like if you listed your card for 240, there would Pogba have sold? Maybe, but um, you can see there's loads underneath at 238, 237. I mean, that is the actual going rate, guys. You have to refresh the market every time. So we'll do it one more time just to prove I'm not lying to you. And we'll go and try it on Z Edge. That's the guy I was looking for. What is he? Is he like 44, 42? Has he gone up even further? Holy. Jeez, he's like 60. There you go, 64k look for ZH, right. So you refresh the market. Oh, look, there's another page. <laughs> That's literally what happens every single time, guys. And you're listening for 64k. You actually go to like 62, 63. You're going to have to wait a whole hour for your card again. So you're going to have to just sit here and wait constantly for it to come. So I hope you guys, this does help you out. I know it's only a little short video, but it does like show you how to fix it. Um, so I hope it has helped you a little bit. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.